In this video, we're going to talk about the completed contract method in accounting. So in our last video, we talked about how when you have a long-term contract, there's a couple different ways you can go about accounting for the revenue that you recognize on the contract. And one way is you can wait until the contract has been completed. So upon completion, we're talking about, let's say it's a five-year contract, the end of year five, you go ahead and recognize the revenue. The other way is to recognize revenue throughout the project with the percentage of completion method that we talked about before. So in this video, now I want to talk about this, this first method, this waiting until the end of the contract to actually book any of the revenue. That's what we're going to discuss. So I think it's important to kind of review a little bit from our example with the percentage of completion. And it'll make it it'll make it a little bit easier for you to understand because there's a lot of similarities. So we said before that your company is awarded a $20 million contract and it's going to take three years to complete the contract at an estimated cost of $15 million. Now under the percentage of completion method we calculate all these percentages to recognize the different revenue in, in year 2017, 2018, 2019, the three years of the contract. Now we don't have to worry about this percentage completion right now right because we're just gonna wait and we're not gonna book anything until the end so we don't have to make any kind of estimates as we go throughout the project so that's gonna make this actually a lot easier for us and a lot of our journal entries are actually going to be exactly the same as they would under the percentage of completion method for example we're going to have an entry where we record the cost to the construction and process account which is an asset that's going to be debited and we credit some kind of payable or we credit cash right so let's say in 2017 we recognize three million in costs that we incur well we're just going to debit the CIP for three million and credit the payable for three million just like we did under percentage of completion method also with the billings we bill our customer in 2017 for 2.5 million we're going to debit accounts receivable for 2.5 million and credit billings for 2.5 million in 2017. So it's, th these entries are very similar. Even the cash is exactly the same entry. We collected $2 million cash in 2017, so we debit cash for 2 million, credit receivable for 2 million. It's just that simple. Now here's where the difference comes into play. With the percentage of completion method, we also made this this entry here to record the ratable portion of revenue and expense in each period, right? So we were recognizing some revenue in 2017, some in 2018, some in 2019, right? And the amounts were, we have 4 million and then 6 million and then 10 million. What we're gonna do with completed contract is we're gonna have 20 million all in 2019 when the contract is done. We're not going to say four, six, and 10. We're just gonna wait till the end and then say 20. So these entries here are not required under the completed contract method. Instead, we're gonna have a different entry for 2019 that is gonna take care of all the revenue and, and expenses and so forth. And also, remember that we had said with the percentage of completion at the end, we were gonna zero out our, our billings and our CIP. Well, with completed contract, we also have to zero out the billings and the CIP, but the CIP is not going to be this, this 20 million here. And so let's just say, we'll just go ahead and cross this out right here so, so that you don't get confused. We are going to be debiting billings and crediting CIP to, to zero them out, but it's not gonna be uh, for this amount here. So we'll, we'll talk about why that's different in a minute, but just bear in mind that these entries right here are exactly the same is we're going to be making with the completed contract method, right? So now let's look at the difference, right? And so we, we've kind of, I'm, I'm not going to belabor these entries here. I, uh, if you've watched the previous video or you even just looking at the numbers, you can probably put together uh, some of what we talked about. So I'm just going to skip to what is different under completed contract. So, and let me change colors here. We'll go with red because I don't, I didn't use that in the previous video. So now what we're going to have for 2019, which is right over here, I know that we're out of space a little bit, so let me, let me write 2019 again, just to make sure that you really know that this is when this entry is happening. So for completed contract method, here's the entry that we're gonna have. In lieu of these entries here, we're going to have this different entry. 
So what we're going to have is we're going to debit billings. So we're going to debit billings. And we're going to debit billings for 20 million to zero it out. Okay. And then we're going to credit revenue for 20 million. I'm going to I'm going to explain this momentarily here. So when we talk about zeroing out billings, let's take a look at our previous entries, right? So we had been crediting billings along the way. We're crediting as we're billing the customer. And these totals add up to $20 million that we've eventually billed them. Why is it $20 million? Well, because it's a $20 million contract, right? So we've billed them for $20 million. But now the contract is done, right? So the contract is done. We have to zero out billings. We debit it. And then we credit revenue, right? Because we haven't been crediting revenue along the way like we did with percentage of completion. We book all of it now in 2019. It was a $20 million contract, so we recognize $20 million of revenue. Now, let me change up my, my color here again. So, let's see. Well, we kind of ran out of colors that we haven't used. Uh, let's go with purple. So, we will have an, an, another corresponding entry for construction expense. Or, you know what? I should have, let me maybe, I should have put here with this revenue. Maybe I should have called it construction revenue, but let's just, let's just call this expense. This is construction revenue, construction expense, if you want to think about that, just so you don't get confused here where we had construction in front of it. But I think you get the idea. So we're going to debit expense for $16 million. And then we're going to credit CIP for $16 million. So this, if this is a little confusing to you, just... So you might be looking at this and say, hey, wait a minute, under percentage completion, when we zeroed out the CIP, we credit it for $20 million. And now with completed contract, we're zeroing out the CIP, but we're only crediting $16 million. So what's going on here? Well, bear in mind that the reason that we need it, so we, we are, if we were to look at our balance sheet on a completed contract for 2019, right, take that snapshot, right before we zero out this 16 million, we would see it's not at 20, like it was under percentage of completion. It's at 16, and why is that the case? Because remember, under percentage of completion, we we're making this extra entry to increase CIP every period, right? So we had the 1 million, the 1 million, and then the 2 million in the third year, right? So we were making those extra entries to pump up CIP. It wasn't just this entry here that was affecting CIP. That affects under percentage of completion or completed contract. Under uh, percentage of completion, though, you had that extra action going on with CIP. And so it got up to $20 because it was including some of that profit that we basically were pre-booking, right? Now with completed contract, we weren't making this entry here. So our CIP was only at $16 million. So to zero it out, we just credit it for $16 million. That's why we don't have the same entry here. Even though we have that billings and CIP need to be zeroed out, CIP is not going to be as large under complete contract as it was under percentage of completion. So now, all we've done here is we, we and let me just here, change colors again. So we're going to zero out billings, right? And then we're going to zero out CIP. And then we're just recognizing Revenue and expense. If you really think about it, that's all we're doing here. We're just we're just waiting in this completed contract method. We're just saying, look, we're gonna wait till the contract is done in 2019. It was a three-year contract. Everything is done with, and we recognize the 20 million dollars that was revenue for the contract, and then the 16 million expense. Now, b bear in mind too. Originally, we estimated at the beginning that the expense would be 15 million dollars and later that changed to 16 million right after year two we said you know what actually it's going to be 16 million now under the percentage of completion we had to make some adjustments right we had to say wait a minute let's adjust some things completing a contract it doesn't even matter because we're not recognizing anything until 2019 anyways so we just go with what when we're, when we're making this debit for expense we just go with what the actual expense was the estimated expense didn't mean anything under completed contract. Because the contract is completed, we no longer have to worry about what's estimated. We know what's actual. We actually got $20 million in revenue, so we credit that. And we actually got $16 million in expenses. And now we can go ahead and book it. And so what we really did was 
this and if we take this 20 million minus the 16 million we have four million dollars in profit on this contract under completed contract method but you see that if we look at the com percentage of completion we also had four million dollars in profit right so here we had a million we had a million and then we had two million so we just it's just a different way that we ended up recognizing the revenue so if we if we think of yeah, let me let me get a little more space here so if we got 2017 2018 and 2019 under percentage of completion we had we recognized 1 million 1 million and then 2 million in terms of profit this is say this is profit right and then in terms of the, the other when we complete a contract we just have you know put cc complete a contract we have four, uh, zero zero because we don't recognize anything here and then we recognize four million in profit in 2019 so all the rec, re, uh, revenue and expenses get booked in the final year where it's percentage of completion we're radically allocating it throughout the life of the contract.